your gate pride, man. That's right. Go, go ahead. Read nine. Read nine. I think it still talks about Sodom. He pity not the people of perdition. These are these are the people of perdition. But the word perdition means destruction. Go ahead. Who are taken away in their sins? In their sins, in their sins. When you when you read Leviticus twenty and thirteen, it says that a man should not lie down with the man as he lie with the woman. You know, if they do, then both of them are an abomination. They should be put to death. That's right. But the, the so-called white man loves having sex with men. He loves having sex with children, with little, with little uh, uh, boys, man. Go ahead. Nor the 600,000 footmen who were gathered together. That's, that's it. That's it on that. Go to 19. Uh, Genesis 19 and 1. And there came... Zion, can you grab... Uh, uh, or, or uh, can you grab uh, Second Peter's two and seven? And and there came two angels to Sodom, even at 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 Eve at Eve Eve, and and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and and Lot seeing them rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with with his face toward the toward the ground. You know because uh, he he knew that those were holy men. So what he did was, when they came, he, he bowed himself towards them, to, uh, with his face towards the ground, ready to receive them into, into his house. Go ahead. Uh, face towards the ground. And he said, Behold, now now my Lord, Lord, there is, there, there, there in. Oh, shit. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I pray, I pray you into into your into your servant's house and tarry and and tarry all night because this is this is something this was a custom in israel when men would come from a far journey we would receive them in our house whether we knew them or not we knew that they were israel israelites because the custom of israel was that you you have to have a, a, a fringes in the border of blue so you you'll know who was an israelite you know when they seen them when you seen them because they'll keep that custom go ahead and, and tarry all night as, as well as a beard, because the Israelite man ain't supposed to shave his beard off. That's right. But the so-called white man wants you to, so that you can, you can, you don't look as fierce as you do. When we have our beards, man, and our beards are growing out, we look fierce, man, like lions. That's a that's a manly man right there. You're supposed to look like a manly man. That's a badge of dignity. Lions, lions don't shave. And, I, and I'm gonna tell you something, right? Us as men, we like to we like to have sex. We like to deal with women. When a, when a man when a man is, uh, when, when a man gets gets uh, horny or aroused, his beard grows more. It grows more. Just like there, there's a there's a, a pointed period of time when when a, when a man is, is uh, ready to pro procreate, he's ready to uh, to, uh, to to have sex and, and have children. His beard his beard uh, grows a little bit more, and his skin his skin his skin clears up. The same thing happens with a woman, but in a woman they call it ovulating. Go ahead. Uh, tarry all night and wash your feet, and ye and ye shall rise, rise up, uh, rise up early and go your way. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he and he pressed upon them greatly. And he was begging, he was, the lot was begging, begging those men to come into the house. He was begging them to come into the house because he knew all of the nasty stuff that those people were doing in, in that place. Hey, can you grab that in 2 Peter uh, 2 and 7? In 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 7. And delivered just lot, vexed, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For the righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous spirit from day to day with their unlawful deed the same the same way that we feel right now being in this place we're vexed by the conversation of the of the uh the the, the wicked man when you when you're out in the bottom you hear a faggot talk you're ready to be head to head right then and there because right. there's something inside of you man that just can't take that shit man a goddamn man acting like a woman then trying to change his voice and sound like a woman that's just disgusting, man. It's a, it's a vexation. And then hearing the things that they're talking about, a man talking about having sex with another man or a woman talking about having sex with another woman, that's a vexation, man. So so Lot, 
plot, knowing all of that stuff that was going on in that place, he pressed those men to enter into the house. Like, please do not, do not, please, I'm begging you, do not stay in the streets. Because there were men, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to tell you what kind of men were in that place. Go, go ahead, huh? Oh, no, I was just using the example you gave because yesterday uh, I, I heard a kid. Llama, he had on the llama. Oh, llama oh, oh, not, not even here, not that faggot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's homo. You know, I, I heard yeah, it. Yeah, the llama, llama vest on with ostrich, skin, ostrich skin, and leggings and shit. Ostrich uh, trim. Th there's, there's a dude talking about adultery yesterday, and he was like, because he saw a woman, you know, she had a real good body shape walking with her boyfriend, and I was telling him to stop talking about that around me, and he kept talking about it, and it got to a point where I had to get up to him. I was like, if you don't stop talking, we're gonna have to fight, you know, because he was like, he was describing what he's gonna do. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to hear that shit. And you can't leave out the classroom. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, we gonna have to fight. We gonna have to stop talking. So he just so he chose to stop so talking. So he shut the fuck up. And that's how you're supposed to put Israelites in check, man. That's how you're supposed to. If it is if an Israelite is 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 going off, man, you're supposed to whoop their ass, man. Like like Nehemiah, you're supposed to whoop their ass, man. Even even to the point of plucking their hair out, because that's what Nehemiah did. Kind. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they tarried in, in, in upon him. He begged them greatly to come into the house, man. Go ahead. And they turned in unto him and and entered into into his house, and he made them a feast. And and did and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they laid down, the men of the city. Uh, even even the men of of so at night you know that the the, uh, the, the the old song the freaks come out at night you know the freaks come out you know the, the freaks were coming out of Sodom and Gomorrah and they and they they went to the house of Lot go ahead Sodom can pass the house round about all of them it said all of the men of Sodom can pass the house round about that means that they were they were surrounding the house just think about all of the men that were they were in that city man. They were they all wanted to 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 uh, break the, the angels that came that came to Lot's house. Go ahead. Round about, old and young, all all the people from from every corner. Uh, these these were the same angels that uh, met with Abraham too. God, and, and it, it, shall shut. And it says it says that it says that the the men both old and young, because you got old freaks here and you got young freaks here. You got old homosexuals here, and you got young homosexuals. Them young homosexuals just just grow old. You know, uh, and, and then they, there were men in Sodom. There were men in Sodom as as young as, as twelve years old that were that were there. Cause it said young men, right? You young and old. And then you had you had the older men in that, in that society as well. Go ahead. And and they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are where are the men which came in to to this to the this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. That we may know them, right? That it, it, and um, basically, when you go to the book of Genesis, I want to say it's Genesis, uh, either the fifth chapter, which says that Adam knew his wife again, and she bare him a son and called his name Seth. When when somebody when you when you want to get some box from a woman, what you say to her, hey, I, I just want to get to know you, you know? So when, when it says that, that these, men, these men said, bring them out that we may know them, they wanted to have sex with them. Go ahead. Uh, and Lot went out at, at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, so he kind of like he, he went out and shut shut the door behind him like he, he yeah yeah uh, be, uh, behind him and said I pray you brethren do not so wickedly uh, behold now I have two two daughters which have have not known men let 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 me I pray you bring them out unto you so he tried to give them two young fine ass women that that that, that were, they, they were virgins they never been popped before and the best pussy that you can get is, is a is a virgin you know but these men what did these men say 
and and do ye to to them. He said, do do ye to them. Whithersoever you go ahead, whithersoever you will, whatever you want to. To dog them out, man. You can hit it all night. Yeah, he talking about multiple men. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Run bust those. Yeah. Yeah. As, as is good in your eyes, only unto these men do do nothing. So he said unto these men, do nothing. But what did, what did these men say to him in return, man? For therefore came they under the, sh the shadow of my roof. And they said, uh, stand, stand back. And and they so because it because he told them I got two fine ass versions Man, fuck that. that were women you can pop them they got offended at him because he told them if you tell a faggot man having sex with the woman it, uh, having sex with the woman is, is the best best thing in, 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 that you can uh, you can go through and experience in the world you know what they gon they gonna get offended at you man. So, so what happened was these men got offended at lot, and, and and they said they said that we're gonna deal with you, we're gonna deal with you way way worse now than we were gonna deal with them men. Go ahead. Wow. And and they said uh, again, this one fellow came into Sir John, Sir, Sir John, and he will need be a a judge. Now will we deal worse, worse with thee, than with them? So he said, that they said, we're going to deal with you worse than we're going to deal, right deal with them. Go ahead. And they pressed sore upon upon the men and, and lot and came near to the door, to the door, uh, and near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and pushed lot into the, into the house to, to them and shut the door, to, and, sh and shut to the door. And they smote the men that that were at the door. So of the all house. of those fags that were trying to have sex with with a lot and the, and, the, and the other two angels that was with them, that the angels uh, pulled lot back into the house, right? Look, we go we ahead. Got one of those angels. Uh, we got one of those. <laughs> one of them. Keep on. Got one of them right here. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Young Youngest thug. Don't say. Into into. Into the house to them and the and shut and shut to the door. Hey, and, ma matter of fact, grab grab that and um, read that in, in um, first first Corinthians. You know, and uh, grab the law, grab the law, thou shalt not wear that pertain to a woman. I think it's in, grab, grab that in Deuteronomy uh, 22. Hey, grab that in Deuteronomy 22. This is, this is 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. He still is. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That's the point right there. In that word, um... Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Oh my God. I got it. Kind of grab, grab that as well, and then come back to that definition. You want me to read that? Uh-huh, go ahead. Go. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abominations unto the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai God. So 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 that guy that was that was wearing those those clothes, the guy that just walked by, here it is, you're wearing fucking females' clothes, but you still gonna try to be tough. So hey and, and then you say something to the guy that God try to swell up on you, man. And you got some slippery ass as uh Bojangle shoes with fucking uh, some tight ass hawk pants with slits in them, <laughs> you know, because you look like you transform into the hawk and shit with all them damn slits in your in your, in your pants, man. You got on a fucking shirt that's ripped open and shit. You can see your little taco meat that's and that. with a gold chain around right. your neck, and then you got the sides right. of your hair shaved off with a ponytail. That's a fucking woman's hairdo, man. So you so here it is, and then you had on a cardigan. You dressed like a goddamn woman. <laughs> Yeah, and you want to walk, too. you want to, hey, and you, you want to walk past like you got some, and put some bass in your voice like you got some testosterone in your nutsack, man. Oh. And your nutsack is full with estrogen, my man. Yeah, hey, hey, it's the one scene, right? It's the scene that, uh, next Friday with Damon, when Damon was talking to uh, Ice Cube, right? 
and and it was a party going down, right? And uh, and Money Mike, Money Mike came in, right? And Damon Gay ass, he was like, he was over there looking at him and shit. He was like, damn, who was that? And the, the girls was coming in. He was like, oh, you talking about the 